Edinburgh has become somewhat of a fortress for Scotland in the Guinness Six Nations. The Scots unbeaten at BT Murrayfield in the previous two championship seasons. Italy had the unenviable task of trying to stop that run. Having collected the wooden spoon for the last three seasons, Conor O'Shea's side were on a run of 17 successive defeats in the championship. And with Benetton going well in the Pro 14, there were some grounds for optimism for the visitors. Tommaso Allen landed a penalty to open the scoring in the eighth minute for Italy, but it wasn't long before the sellout crowd were out of their seats to celebrate a wonderful Scotland score. Finn Russell produced an exquisite crossfield kick, allowing the onrushing Blair Kinghorn to collect and charge over the line for the opening try of the match. Russell very much the architect, with Kinghorn taking the plaudits as the Scots went 5-3 ahead. Midway through the first half, Kinghorn was in for his and Scotland's second try of the game. Russell combined with Sam Johnson before picking out Hogg, and the fullback managed to squeeze the ball out to Kinghorn. It may not have been the crispest pass from Hogg, but it was an easy pick-up and score for the winger. And when Greg Laidlaw landed the conversion, the lead was 12 points to three, and that's how it stayed until the half-time break. But Scotland were back in the try-scoring business seven minutes after the break. As they threatened in front of the posts, Laidlaw fired the ball to Russell, yeah. and he put a nicely weighted kick in behind. Stuart Hogg just managed to get his fingertips to the ball for the score. It was Hogg's 19th international try, and Gregor Townsend's men were firmly in the driving seat. Laidlaw slotted the conversion over to give the Scots a 19 points to three lead. A few minutes later, Scotland wrapped up the four-try bonus point. Jamie Ritchie finding the gap. And when the ball reached Kinghorn, the Edinburgh man left the Italian defence flat-footed with a gorgeous dummy before slicing through for his hat-trick. It was proving to be a memorable day for Kinghorn, and one the Italians would rather forget. Laidlaw converted, and Scotland were 26 points to three ahead and cruising to victory. Just past the hour mark, the home side were in for another score. Hogg with another incisive run to set it up. The Italians were struggling to resist the rampant Scots attack. And after the ball went through the hands of Russell and Josh Strauss, Chris Harris was there in support to cross for his first try for his country. That made it 33 points to three. There was some consolation for Italy ten minutes from time. After Simon Bergen was yellow carded for collapsing a mall, the Azzurri threatened the Scots line, and Guglielmo Palazzani dived over from close range to give the scoreline a slightly better look. And the Italians, with the one man advantage, struck for another try shortly after when Federico Ruzzo found Eduardo Padovani, and the substitute got over for a well worked five points, putting respectability on the scoreline at 33 points to 15. Lovely offload from Ruzzo to set up the score. Fortunately, a little too late for the Azzurri in this game. However, there was still more time for another Italian try, with the Scots looking a bit leaden-legged as Campagnaro raced clear. Angelo Esposito was there in support, and the Benetton winger was away for a third Italian try, leaving at 33-20. Time ran out for the Italians in their bid for losing and try bonus points. But the late rally will give them a boost ahead of a home game against Wales next time, albeit that this was an 18th consecutive defeat in the Guinness Six Nations. Scotland host Ireland on the 9th of February. Townsend's troops will be relishing that contest after a bonus point victory here. Final score in Edinburgh, Scotland 33, Italy 20.